Okay, everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to Bookmas Day 14. So we are two weeks in and we are hitting our second reading vlog today of December. And I'm gonna briefly go over the five books I plan on reading in this vlog. And then the next time you see me, we'll be updating on the first one. First up will be Better Hate Than Never by Chloe Lee. This is a Taming of the Shrew reimagining about um, one of the Wilmot sisters. And then this guy that they've known since they were children that he's never really gotten along with Katarina. And they always kind of thought he, that they hated each other. But in reality, like, they don't kind of thing. They're just, they pick on each other all the time. And then there's like one drunken night where she admits that to him. And then sparks fly. And I think that like curiosity gets the better of them. And they try to see what could happen if they end up together. So, so yeah, that's pretty much all I know about that. I have read the first book in the series and I did enjoy it. So I'm excited to see where I land on this one. And then the third and final book comes out in January. Then I'm going to read the fifth and final book in the Never After series by Melissa De La Cruz. And that is the end of the story. And this is a middle grade book about this girl who goes into this like a fairy tale world to that's like from her favorite book series that she's more connected with than she thought. And then there's like a war with ogres and she's meeting these other characters in there. And they're all kind of characters from like Jack and the Beanstalk, I believe is like the main, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I read the last book. He's like the main male character from that world and a little bit of a love interest for her. So I'm excited to see how this ends because there is like a little bit of like an ogre war going on in here and that's the end of it. And these are just really fast fun reads and I think I am going to end up gifting these to a friend who has children in this right age gap um, that I think that they will enjoy because they're getting into fantasy-esque books. Then I'm gonna read my first Mariana Zapata book with All Roads Lead Here. And this is about a girl that like basically goes to this new town to start over because she broke up with her longtime musician boyfriend. And she ends up, I don't know if he's her landlord or her neighbor. It's it's her landlord. And he's like grumpy in the single dad. And I think she just slowly starts to like break down his walls and he starts to trust her. And I think that eventually very slowly becomes a romance because I believe slow burn. So we'll see. Then I'll be reading my second Simone St. James book, which is The Sundown Motel. And I believe this is about a girl who goes to work at this motel that her aunt mysteriously vanished from years ago. Vanished or died? Disappeared. And she goes there and then like weird things start happening again. That's all I really know. I don't want to know much going into this. I didn't know like anything going into The Broken Girls and I really enjoyed that book. So I would like to keep it that way going into this next one as well. And I've heard that this is some people's favorite book by her. And then over the course of this, I will be reading a nonfiction, which is The Problem With Everything by Megan Dahm. And this is just her opinions on like millennial topics is the best way that I can describe it based on what I've read about it. So I don't know that this will take too long. It's like just over 200 pages and the font's kind of big, but it is nonfiction. And that sometimes does take me a little bit longer to get through. So we shall see, but I am kind of looking forward to this. I think it'll be interesting, an interesting read. So those are the five books I will be reading throughout this vlog. And like I said, the next time you see me, we'll be updating on Better Hate Than Ever. Hey everyone, it's like midday on Sunday. I've been doing some other stuff, but I read a little bit this morning and last night I'm 220 pages in and I love this book. I don't know what it is about it, but like the romance is just perfect. It, there's like, they hate each other because they both think that the other one hates, like they've, they, they've basically thought they've hated each other their entire lives. So they just use like picking on each other and just being rude to each other as like a coping mechanism with that and like to keep each other at a distance even though there's feelings there and she just wants to belong and he's always really felt strong feelings for her but he's been afraid to love because he lost his parents at a young age and he doesn't want anybody in so it's like a lot of like back and forth with that but he's basically like a family member to them because he grew up next door and because he lost his parents young he's become part of their family but they've always not gone along and the like tension between the two of them is just unreal and it's just now heating up. So that's kind of why I stopped where I did, but I'm so excited to finish this and see what it is, but I'm also sad that it's gonna be over. But I am excited for the third book, which is gonna be Juliet's book. So we'll see how that comes out. But so far really enjoying this. I'm gonna go probably lay down. I have like a headache. I've been fighting for like three days and it's just not great right now, but I'm gonna go try to lay down. I may sleep, I may read, we'll see how I feel. So I just finished Better Hate Than Ever and I thoroughly enjoyed this book, like so much more than I thought. I didn't think I'd get like a high, high, high rated book this month from a romance novel, but I'm still debating what I wanna give this, but I think it's going to be a very high rating. The romance in this was just perfect. I 
find that I'm enjoying more like mature adult type romances where they actually like talk things out and there isn't that third act breakup and this is how Chloe Lee writes and I like that and this was just perfect. I think that the there was so much tension between them and the way that they dealt with their issues and stuff was just like I had the feels this entire book and I loved it so highly highly recommend if you've never read one of her books pick up a Chloe Lee's book. Now I'm going to move on to The End of the Story by Melissa De La Cruz, final book in the Never Afters, Chronicles of Never After, whatever this series is called. It is, this is a very short book. It is under 300 pages and it is middle grade. So the font is quite large. So I probably will fly through this. Um, I may update before the end. I may not. It just depends on how much I sit down and read in a sitting, but I'm gonna start with this and then talk to you at some point later. Okay, I'm gonna give one more update before I head to bed. I'm just over halfway through this. I probably will finish this tonight unless I go lay down and literally fall asleep. It's not that late though, so I should get through this before I go to sleep. Basically, all we're doing right now is building up to this final battle. Um, Philomena, who's our main character, is in Never After, which is the world, and they're going to all these other worlds. Like they just were in Neverland and then Everland, and then they're now in like the underworld, which is like Davy Jones Locker. Like all of the worlds that you hear about in like movies and like fairy tale lands, and like even Oz, I think, was in the last one, and um, Camelot was in the last one, and they're talking about that. They all kind of tie into this. It's not just Disney stuff, it is like all the mythical lands that have been in like tales and everything. So this one, they were in Neverland um, and they're kind of seeing, they're trying to get people on their side for this battle and they're traveling to all these places and trying to figure out what's going on and also trying to like recruit people to help them and people are making their decisions on if they're gonna stand with them or the ogres. That's pretty much all I think that the book's going to be. And then the final battle, again, I'm already halfway through. So I don't know that there'll be much more of that. It'll probably go into the battle, I would think pretty quickly or that will be like the last part of the book and it'll be rushed. I don't know. If I finish that tonight, I will not update obviously before work, but I will start All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. And I'm very excited for this. This will be my first book by her and I've heard great things about this one, but she is a slow burn author. However, I really did just enjoy Twisted Lies or in uh, Better Hate Than Never which I just read it in this vlog. And I would consider them like slight slow burns. Like I think Better Hate Than Ever wasn't very long, but it, it did take a while for them to like get to that point. Even once they were together, there's a little bit more of like a hold off on like the passion and all of that. And then Twisted Lies, I would call a slow burn compared to the other Twisted books. So I am kind of in the mood for that. I really did enjoy those two, but we'll see how she does it. I've heard she does it better than anybody. So I will, I will guess I will be able to make that judgment for myself after I finish this. So I don't know that I'll start this tonight because like I said, I'm really tired and I'm gonna hopefully not fall asleep before I finish ne the uh, end of the story, but I will start this tomorrow at work, probably either way. So talk to you guys tomorrow when I get home. Hello, hello, happy Monday. I did end up finishing up the end of the story last night and this was a cute end. I liked it, it wrapped up really nice, but again, middle grade, so nothing like crazy for me. I didn't love it, but it was a cute ending and I did enjoy the series. It was very, very sweet and kind of nostalgic because of all the little stories that it brought up. And I did start All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata last night. I only read like 30 pages last night and I'm up to about page 140, almost 150 now. And I'm so far really enjoying this. I think that this could be an author that I really like. I love her storytelling and I like how she builds her characters up. Obviously I'm only 150 pages into an almost 600 page romance book, but so far enjoying it. Um, I plan on reading this again, continuing to read it tonight as I, when I go to bed because I have some editing to do. And I also am kind of reading The Problem With Everything. I don't have the book in here, but I have the dust cover. This, I just read like the introduction to it last night. So not even any like real pages. It was just like the X1 pages. So we'll see. Um, so far it's kind of interesting because the introduction was her explaining what the book started off being and then now it kind of went a different route because of things that happened in um, our country at the time that she was writing the book. So I mean, I'm fascinated. I think it'll be interesting. And for a nonfiction, like I got through those 10 pages of the introduction pretty quickly. So I'm hoping that means that I will get through this book 
fast. Sometimes nonfiction takes me a little bit longer based on the writing style of the person. So fingers crossed that this one is an easy, quick read. And that's all for today. I will probably just update tomorrow when I get home from work. Happy Tuesday. I just spent like 45 minutes making like 20 SVGs to cut out for my costume outfit for Taylor Swift night on Friday, but or I would have been done with this already. I have like 80 pages left in this. So I will be finishing this tonight and I am loving this book. I love the slow burn. It is done so well that like, I don't even care. I don't even care that it took till page like 460 for them to do more than hold hands. I don't care, but it's been so good. Her writing's good. I love the characters. I love these people. So I'm very excited to finish this and I do plan on buying more of her books for next year. I've just added a whole bunch to my Amazon wish list because your girl needs some more of this. So I'm gonna finish this up. I'll probably read a little bit more of The Problem With Everything. I did read like 30 pages of that last night as well. And then I will be moving on to The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. So I will update you all when I get home tomorrow with where I am with all three of these books. Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna do an update real quick because I'm actually in the middle of working on my outfit for my Taylor Swift night on Friday. Sneak peek, but I read a little bit at work today. I'm only about 100 pages in, not even, I think, to, um, what am I reading? The Sundown Motel. And it's interesting so far, you're following Viv and you're following uh, Carly. So Viv was the aunt that went missing back in like the 70s, 70s or 80s, and then Carly is now in like 2017, I think is the time. And she is trying to figure out what happened to her aunt. She's in college, but she's just like, something's always bothered. I think her mother had just passed away and her mom never talked about her sister. So now she went to this town to try to figure out what happened to her aunt because she's like, my aunt was somebody and she deserves to be remembered and I wanna know what happened to her. So that's kind of where we are. And she goes to the Sundown Motel where her aunt went missing and also gets a job there like her aunt did as a night clerk. And there's just like weird things going on. Um, and then she meets this guy named Nick who stays there. I think is just like basically a bouncer cause it's a motel. So like obviously like not great things go down there but he's there to basically keep the peace. So that's kind of where I am right now. We like I guess weird things are happening. I'm not sure where she's gonna take this book like the direction, but we'll see. It's interesting so far. I do like that we're getting the dual timelines because I think that makes the books go faster. And that is how the Broken Girls was too, that had dual timelines, which I really enjoyed. So liking it so far, I will update probably tomorrow. I don't know how much I'm gonna get read tonight because I really have to get some of this done. My cricket is cricketing away in the background if you can hear it, sorry, but I only have like two days to get this costume done. So I will update you all tomorrow. Happy Thursday, everybody. Technically today is Friday for me because I'm not going to work tomorrow. And I spent most of the evening working on my outfit for Taylor Swift night tomorrow night, but I am gonna try, it's like seven o'clock now, so since I don't have to get up, I'm gonna try to finish off the Sundown Motel tonight because I only have like 100 pages left roughly. I think I can get through that pretty quick and it's getting like really good now. It's to the point where like, I don't wanna put the book down, but I really needed to like get stuff done or I was not gonna have this outfit ready for tomorrow. So that was priority. And then I'm still only about 50 pages into The Problem With Everything. So I'm gonna try to read some of this tonight as well. And hopefully I can wrap this vlog up tomorrow because I do wanna start the next one. Time's a, time's a going, man. And I've got these vlogs a little too close together, I think. Um, but anyway, it's fine. We'll figure it out. So hopefully the next time you see me, we may be done or we'll be very close to it with both of these books. So. I'm gonna go, you know, read. All right, everyone, that's time to wrap this up. We started this vlog with Better Hate Than Never by Chloe Lee. I loved this book. I have found that I'm liking romance books that don't have that dramatic like third act breakup and that where the two main characters basically figure out their crap together and they, they trust each other and they talk things out. Um, sometimes that's more realistic, sometimes it's not. I do like the drama every once in a while, but I am finding that I'm rating books like that higher. So this was a four and a half star and one spice. Then I read The End of the Story by Melissa De La Cruz. This is the final book in the Never Afters Chronicles, Chronicles of Never After, which is a middle grade series by her. This was cute. It was a fun little wrap up to the end. Um, I gave this three and a half stars and zero spice. Then I read Mariana Zapata's All Roads Lead Here. This again was the type of a romance that I've been craving and the slow burn in this was perfect and the relationship in this was perfect and the characters in this were perfect everybody like Rhodes Aurora I loved them so much and even the side characters in this book were just perfect and everybody kind of had their 
their place in the story and it worked out very well. So Rhodes was like perfect. Tober's Rhodes was perfect. So definitely gonna be picking up more of her books in the new year. And I have a few in my Amazon cart now. I have a few on my Amazon list now that I'm like targeting to be my next reads for her, but I don't know yet. So this is the only one I have physically right now, but four and a half stars, one spice. Then I read Simone St. James, The Sundown Motel. And I finished this up yesterday. And to be completely honest, the beginning was a little slow for me. I don't know if it's because I was coming out of like fluffier romance books and like the light, like a light fantasy that this was just like a complete 180. It was a little slow to get into, but the end of this book, like the second half of this book, I didn't want to put it down. I loved the way that she like tied the story together, what happened. I'm finding that she has this typical type of a, do I want to call it a trope? It, there's something particular that happens in all of her books, which I like, but I don't like, but if it's done well, it's okay. Riley Sager's kind of the same way, but I thought it was done well in this and I liked the characters. I liked the back and forth with the storylines. I think it made it go faster. And I'm not sure how much of this I described. It's been a very busy week, but basically we're following Carly who goes back to this town, Fell, New York, and starts working at the Sundown Motel where her aunt went missing like 30 some years ago, 35 years ago. And she's just uncovering the same secrets that her aunt uncovered when she was there and figuring out what happened. And is that why she went missing? Is she dead? Like what's going on with that? And this motel and like the weird is going on in the motel and the people in town and everything. So I really did enjoy this. It was like mirroring storylines, which was kind of cool the way they were finding out the same things, but slightly different. Really enjoyed that. So this was four stars, half spice. And then finally, I read Megan Dom's The Problem With Everything. This ended up being more about feminine rage and the way to deal with feminism, feminism and stuff like that than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be more about just like topics that like the Gen Xers and the millennials deal with, but it was more like heavy leaning on her thoughts on like the Me Too movement and like uh, badass women and all that kind of stuff that's kind of come out in the past few years. And I didn't agree with her on everything. I do think she made some very good points, but I wasn't ever really sure where she stood on it because I think she, she waffled a lot on her thoughts. In my opinion, she waffled a lot on it. So I still enjoyed it. It was nice to hear like somebody else talk about this kind of stuff, but it wasn't what I was expecting going in. So I don't rate these, but it was still an enjoyable, really quick, very quick um, nonfiction read. So that's it. Um, that was a pretty good, it was a good romance, I think, vlog. So I had some two... I had two very good romances. I didn't expect the Chloe Lease book to be as high of a rating as it was, which that's just because I've already read one of her books and I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. This book, for some reason, I just adored. I loved the characters. I loved the story arc, everything about it. And I think that's just because we, we relate to different things. And I think I just related to this storyline more than I related to the previous one. So that's probably why, but definitely enjoyed it. Definitely looking forward to reading the third and final book in the Wilmot, Wilmot series. And then I think I'm going to try to read her Bergman, Bergman Brothers series. I think there's seven books in that next year. Um, my sister has like the first one or two of that. So I think I'm going to try to read those because I do like her writing and she's like a local to me author. So I do want to support her. But that is it for this vlog. I thank you so much if you've made it this far and hope to see you all tomorrow for Book Miss Day 15.